Good morning, folks. We begin by watching one of the incoming solar tornadoes. A plasma filament caught sight of Earth and decided he would just quit while he was ahead. Like a ram ready to lock horns, the filament arched up on its hind legs and jumped, plasma raining back down in the wake of the eruption. That blast will miss Earth. Shocker, we're still waiting for the coronal hole stream to impact. In the meantime, we've got amazing articles and weather to report, so let's get to it. Starting at spaceweathernews.com, we're looking at the last day on our star and seeing a whole buffet full of nothing. A minor surface surge, but that was about it. The sun is quiet and so is the solar flaring. C-class level looks almost like a ceiling for the X-ray flux and the sunspots are not producing despite their size. Even though the magnetogram is experiencing some glitches this morning, we can still tell that the spots would need to develop magnetically in a big way if they want to produce any flares. As for the solar wind, perhaps the experts overestimated this stream. If it had arrived yesterday, we'd be in storm conditions now, but the telemetry is calm and the delay in arrival means the stream won't be quite as bad as the experts predicted. Source of the stream is the coronal hole that has departed on the south while the northern coronal hole system faces Earth today, Remember, it's actually part of that same system of fields. How about this out of China? One of the best gigantic blue jets seen in a long time, with a little bit of the chain of arrows archetype flung into the mind. This is the upshoot of the global electric circuit that leads us into the next story. So, you are likely used to seeing our CME and electron precipitation animation, but there is a lot that happens between CME impact on Earth's magnetic field and the electrons that fire down in return currents to juice up the clouds and air. The Van Allen belts are a key interface for space energy, but they also house the excitement arena for those electrons. Not all or even most are forced down to Earth and are instead excited incredibly to levels that can last for days, weeks, or in the case of a 1991 storm, years. Interesting link. As you can see, everything from the typhoon at Japan to the monsoon flow over India, today's focus is in the middle. A system is dropping incredible rainfall over Myanmar as a convergence line that draws to two separate lows, splits at their coastline, and dropped enough rain to ruin hundreds of thousands of hectares of crops and displace or disrupt the lives of 400,000 people. Louisiana is still struggling, but the flooding has extended north now to St. Louis and surrounding areas, and even further north they got the scary part of the convergence line. That would be a tornado not far outside Indianapolis. Wish I had better news here. Scattered and disconnected lows means each one wants to pull a moisture stream, but they're pretty much all trying to use the same on-ramp over Texas and the Gulf states. Flooding will continue. Well, folks, see anything up there that looks new to you? That's only half our sites, but this is where most of the important things are. Check them out if you haven't seen one of them. We've got the rest of the weather around the world, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.